while Duncan was away at the works being mended, Rusty the Little Diesel was assigned to pull Duncan's trains until he returned. Rusty was happy to help out and enjoyed the opportunity to pull more passenger trains compared to the usual goods. One morning, Rusty was waiting at the platform when he saw a smart man in a suit. Oh, hello, sir, smiled Rusty. Ah, uh, hello there, young Diesel, he replied. Who might you be? I'm Rusty, the Diesel smiled. My name is Bernard Holden. Bernard Holden? Rusty gasped in surprise. The Bernard Holden, founder of the Bluebell Heritage Railway in England. The very same, chuckled Mr. Holden. It's an honor, sir, but... What are you doing here? asked Rusty. I'm currently going around Soto trying to gather donations for the Blue Bear Railway to raise enough money so we can save an engine from scrap. Unfortunately, I still need quite an earning to purchase that engine. Quite a pitchfork. Rusty felt sorry for Mr. Holden. Wish I could do something now, he sighed. I'm sure you can do something. Perhaps try spreading the word to anyone you can. As Rusty trundled down the line, he couldn't stop thinking about Mr. Holden and saving an engine. There must be something I can do, he thought to himself. That evening, Rusty told the others about Mr. Holden. Oh dear, began Pierce Sam. I'm sorry he has to go through such struggle. Even Sir Andrew had to agree. If only we could do something to help, sighed Rusty. Well, we're not going to be able to figure something out without a good night's rest. That's Kaloi. No, it's best that we go to sleep. Everyone agreed and soon fell asleep. All except Rusty, who stayed up brainstorming ideas. There must be something I can do, thought to himself. The next morning, an idea flew into Rusty's exhaust. That's it, Rusty said, waking up the others. A charity. So I'll make Mr. Holden happy. I must go speak to the same controller. Rusty scurried away, and eventually he reached the station to see the third controller. Sir, cried Rusty. Oh, hello, Rusty, the third controller said. May I help you? Not me, you can help, sir. And Rusty explained his idea. By the end, the third controller was smiling broadly. Now that is a splendid idea. I'll get in contact with Mr. Holden right away. And he walked off. It took some time, but soon, the Fun Fair charity was launched near Groven's Gate. Many people came to the Fun Fair and had lots of fun. When the Fun Fair was over, the Scarlowy Railway had raised over 2,000 pounds. Mr. Holden was excited and visited Rusty in the sheds that evening. I can't think you will not, smiled Mr. Holden. I really appreciate this. I will never forget what you did. And neither would Stepney. As time? Rusty asked. Yes, I'll be sure to bring him here one day, I promise. And Mr. Holden left, ready to head back to Merrill. Two years had passed since Mr. Holden's visit. One morning, Henry pulled into Crowan's Gate with exciting news for Rusty. Have you heard? He said excitedly. Stepney, the Bluebell engine, is coming to visit Sodor. Really? Yes, and he's braving his way through the diesels on the other railway, just for us. Such a brave engine. As Henry left, Rusty's face fell. He's braving his way through all those nasty diesels. He probably won't even look at me when he knows I'm one too. And he glumly rolled away. A few hours had passed, and Rusty was taking a break before his next goods train. Coming into sight was a large tank engine, painted in gold with the name Stepney on the side tanks. Hello there, smiled the tank engine. I'm Stepney, the Bluebell engine. Ah, you must be Rusty. Rusty was aghast. You've heard of me. Of course, chuckled Stepney. My owner, Mr. Holden, told me all about how you suggested the idea to start a charity to raise enough money to save me. I want to say thank you for everything. I was cooped up in that scrapyard with those nasty diesels for so long and, and the impression that all diesels are vicious and rude, but you... you changed that. I'm glad to know that there are diesels out there with hearts of gold, just like you. Rusty had trouble forming the words. Oh, um, you're welcome, he stuttered. 
for help. I'd best be off now. The others are anticipating my arrival. Hope to see you again soon. As Stepney puffed away into the distance, Rusty watched proudly on, knowing that he had done good for another fellow engine.